Nova, come here. Here. In the video intro. Yes. Look, it's a camera. Look, Nova. Look. It's a camera. No? You wanna do the intro with me? Come on, pal. <laughs> you wanna be in it? No. Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix. I'm your host, Coslix. Today, we got a pretty special video. I'm actually coaching a gold player. This guy is peak 1600 ELO. It's a one hour coaching session, so I hope you enjoy. And this video, we're just gonna isolate how they can improve as quickly as possible. And maybe you can apply it to your own game. If you wanna be personally coached, check out Coslix.com and subscribe to Neutralix if you just wanna see a whole library of educational Brahala content. We're gonna teach you how to improve. So subscribe for more. Let's get right into this video. Thanks for watching. Yo. Yo. <clears throat> Not much. How are you, bro? Good. You ready for the session? Yeah. So should I share my screen? Uh, no, nah, it's all good. Um, do you play on PC or what? Yeah, on PC. Nice. In US West. Yeah. Nice. Um, uh, and then you said you were gold-ish. Yeah, I'm gold. Yeah. Who do you uh who do you main? Um, most of the time I'm playing Mordex, but right now I'm trying to play Ogrim. Okay, how come uh, the that's a big switch? Yeah, basically, I just haven't been able to like hit stuff on safe. I don't know, my reads are off. Yeah, it's a bit of a tougher weapon. It's not as clear because you don't have the true combos. Yeah. Uh, on Ogrim, like, what do you prefer, the uh, axe or lance? Lance, lance. And then on Mordex, do you prefer Scythe or Gauntlets? I'm using Scythe, I don't know. I'll be honest, if I was you, maybe not this session, but Artemis is a lethal character. Oh yeah, yeah, because he is Scythe, yeah. And Lance, so you kind of have like the... You can kind of pick and choose depending on the day. And also the SIGs yeah. are like incredible. But okay. we don't need to um, focus too much on that, just something after this session if you want to think about it. Um, uh, okay. I guess if you've been playing Ulgrim, we can specialize Ulgrim. Um, Lance is also just easier to improve, like in gold, Lance is easy. So let's, uh, we'll talk a bit more about that today then. Okay. Um, uh, so what probably makes the most sense is I'm going to join your room. Uh, do you mind playing a ranked game in front of me? And then I'll be able to get the replay file. If you win or lose, we can talk about certain interactions, see what you're doing, talk about the decisions, and then where we can go from there. Maybe we watch another game. We'll discuss. Okay. So, do you want the room code? Yeah, let me launch my game. Let me also close my door so the cat isn't meowing loud. Also, do you mind if I ask, um, what made you buy the coaching session? Oh, basically, this guy in a Discord server over in Pavelski's told me that I need to get some coaching. Nice. So yeah, that's it. And then, uh, did you already like know who I was, or do you watch Neutralix yeah. videos? I've been watching some of your like main channel. I don't know. I haven't been playing too long. I have like 300 hours. Okay, so pretty new. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, I'm just recording this session for Neutralix. It's like a channel dedicated to help people improve at Brahala. Okay. I used to do it on the main channel, but I don't really want to teach on my main. I'd rather like a separate. But yeah. Okay. Uh, you've been on the grind. Oh, Respect. I... Oh, you see my games? Yeah, I see the 183. Keep it up, bro. Level 9. Okay, so you switched to Ulgrim like last two days. Yeah, because you mean Ulgrim, so <laughs> I, I had to like... That. I don't know. Did you play Mordex because of Pavelski? Um, I, I don't know. When I first started playing the game, he was the only character I bought. Okay. Yeah. But then I bought all of them. Okay, you got this. I'm gonna deafen. I'll bother you. I'm just gonna like commentate a little bit from what I'm watching. So I just see the first couple attacks in the game didn't have too much reason behind them. And there's a lot of, yeah, trying to force the end light there. There's a lot of like whiffs coming from the side player. 
that narrow and have too much reason behind it. A lot of it is more like purpose behind the attacks. That was a good combo. Didn't have a true combo out of that though, so I wouldn't have went for the side light. Maybe an end light there, because it's one dodge frame. I think the more general tips that's gonna help is kind of thinking about punishing. I made a video like an advanced guide on like the three steps. And it seems like step two of like just focusing on punishing and then step one of like your opponent in gold is gonna miss you can literally run and they're just gonna miss their attacks so just letting them miss and then punishing also if you didn't know the axe side like nair combo there yeah i would have neared there so talk about the axe true combos a little bit that unarmed true combo as well um, but definitely a lot more punishing, especially Lance, you have so much horizontal range that you can kind of stay back from your opponent and then just punish with a Ser. So just thinking a lot more about punishing. And that's going to like really take this guy's level to Platinum. And just win a bit more consistently. And just the idea of let your opponent miss and then punish. Like right there was a good punish. I probably would have went for a Ser instead of a Recovery because Recovery doesn't work kill there. Um, but Recovery isn't bad. It's Side light is fine. He's good. This is winnable. Filtering Lance. I like it. And then also with movement, there's not much dash happening. There's a little bit there. Um, so I definitely say like between stocks, practicing the hand warmers, which we'll talk about. Um, so focus on punishing. A little bit of dash jumps there, which I like. But it's just using movement to stay a little bit further away and let your opponent miss. Ugh, just a little bit. Lack of experience and control there. That's totally okay. Good try right there. That side light was messy. Didn't have too much reason behind it. it and then weapon toss is not so comfortable on axe. I definitely recommend playing Artemis if they're more comfortable on Scythe is already. Um, plus, Artemis is a crazy good character. Nice D light end light. The low dodge trim strings are totally fine if you're gold. It's just once you get closer to like diamond, they become less optimal. So I like that. And there is rough. That side light was a bit rough. Bit of a wake up, running straight into them. We're gonna focus a lot on avoiding attacks a bit more. Okay, why why are you doing that? Okay. Yo, I'm 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 gonna I know ask... I lost that okay. <laughs> you you okay, shouldn't give up. Never give up. Okay, I lost that though, bro. First game one, I was a little bit nervous. I got turned on my PC. No, it's no worries. Brawlhalla, like, if you're gonna win consistently, it's easy. Like, okay. you just have a game plan. You, you could, like, win with your eyes closed. One minute, one minute. Can you hear that, or should, do I need to turn noise suppression on? No, you sound good, bro. Okay. Um, yeah, um, yeah, don't I worry. I missed a lot it. of attacks. What do you think, like, the biggest thing you would do different if you were to play them again? Um. I think I was I was just attacking too much for no reason, I think. So when you attack know. for a reason, what do you mean by that? Um, like, I was just attacking when I wasn't in, like, the range of my weapon. I like, agree with that to a degree. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it, and then I think I can help with that logic for something a bit more consistent. Should I write it? I'm gonna do another one. No, no, no. It's actually better okay. when you lose because then I can just see the mistakes. Like we can see them together. So in Brawlhalla, I've got like a saying where it's like every time you get hit, it's a mistake. And that's true. But the goal with this, we're going to try and find the biggest mistake and like the most obvious one that's happening consistently. So we can try and isolate it, get you to focus on it. And then that will be like the easiest way to improve. Right off the get go. That's uh, like a rock, paper, scissors. It's totally fine. I can also tell, like, you weapon throwing away axe. And then also, there were a couple, like, axe true combos later on that you were missing. <clears throat> it seems like you're not that comfortable with the weapon, so I definitely recommend practicing Artemis a bit. If you like Scythe, but uh, you don't need to focus on that in the session. That could be, like, between the two. I got 60 on Artemis, so. Nice. So even more levels on than Ulgrim. Plus speed and Lance is really nice. Ulgrim has a good amount of speed too. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who you main. It just matters how much fun you have. Um, so this interaction is interesting. So you go for a dare here. I'm guessing you're just trying to hit them, right? Yeah. And then same thing here. You go for a dare here. And then you go for a dare there. So yeah. one thing in Brahala 
to make it a bit more consistent is I like to call them like openings. It's like reason to attack. Where if you go for a dare, right? He's far enough away. He can dodge this, move out of the way. Uh, you can react to it, essentially. And hitting people straight up just doesn't really work consistently until you have the skills of knowing how to do it. And same thing here with the, all three of these dares. There's not a clear purpose. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, like, I don't know. I can't really hit them. I like to pretend, like, do you ever watch, like, boxing? Or, like, yeah. in, a, in a fight, right? If someone throws a punch at you, you can usually move out of the way in time, right? Like, if you're right next to them, it's a little too quick. You're just going to get popped by, like, a jab. But if you're a little bit far away, you can't really hit them. In real life, essentially. Like, if you, like, try and hit someone far away, you're reaching really far, right? Yeah, I understand. Cool. So, treat that like Brawlhalla. We need to get our opponent to be vulnerable. So, in a position where we know hitting them is going to land. And and I, I like to call that punishing. Do you know, um, have you heard that term before? Probably, I'm guessing. Yeah. I've heard punishing, yeah. So what I really want you to do is kind of focus on those openings and let them happen. So like right here, for instance, you go for a side light before they're even daring. Because the dare, one, two, three, four. They're just a little bit too close. You do a back dash and then you try and side light. Couldn't I have done like a down light? You could have. You were also just backdashing, which made it so it was kind of hard to punish. And just knowing the spacing with a backdash, like, that's just a tough input. What I would really do is kind of make sure that you're in a position where you can kind of do anything. So, like, kind of farther away, you can just, like, wait for your opponent to dare and then side light and kind of just focusing on the punishing. So, same thing there. I guess you tried the down light there. That wasn't so bad. Um, it was just the wrong option when it was a little horizontal to you. But in all of these situations, that there is fine. I just want you to like really focus on punishing. There's three stages to Brahalla. There's like stage one, we want to get your opponent to miss. Then stage two, we want to punish. And then stage three is the combo combos. And in general, when you're gold, it's really just focusing on that second stage of punishing. So in like this situation here, we're trying to get our opponent to miss. And then this Nair, like, is there a reason behind it? Not really. So, like, optimally, if you kind of just, like, chill in this area, then you can just let your opponent do something dumb, and then you punish them for it. So it's kind of like, wait, more wait, passive. wait. Yeah, it's more passive, basically. Um, when you're playing Lance, you actually have a lot of options from the air. So it's, like, a lot easier to be passive than aggressive. And passive is also just way easier. In all honesty, Sandstorm is the most passive player I know. <laughs> there's Meg D and there's Sandstorm. They're both just so passive. Sandstorm looks really flashy and whatnot, but at the core root, like these guys are passive. I should have um, went for um, a day. Sorry, a downlight. I would have went for a neutral light because the downlight, you have to like dash downlight if you want it to be one frame. Side light there, end lights, just one frame and like. Gold players are just not going to dodge it, <laughs> in all honesty. Yeah. So I'd just go for true combos or one dodge frame stuff. Anything that isn't a true combo or one dodge frame is like quite risky. Because then when you went for this follow-up, it puts you in a bad position. Where now you're off stage and whatnot. And same thing here, like, this there, I guess you were trying to punish the end light. And then it was just slightly delayed too much, so you hit the wall. Which is a bit unfortunate, but also just a bit bad positioning. So here's a, an important thing with punishing. When your opponent misses, you it, you have this question in your head of like, can you punish? And this ground pound, how far away you are, like it's not guaranteed. You know what I mean? It's like, he's too far away. So you got no one to like not go for stuff? Yeah, it's like making the decision, like, can you punish this guy? And in this situation, let's say there's a 50% chance you can, it's just safer not to. The biggest takeaway from this game is that decision making on punishing and just playing a bit more passive. So not getting too close from the opponent. And you'll see that a lot. Recovery is a bit weird. Same thing here, where you're backdashing towards him. And then it's almost like you're running into the attack. 
So what I'd really focus on is like step one, avoid the attack. So do whatever it takes to avoid your opponent. And then step two, try your best to make the decision if you can or can't punish them. And if you can punish them, you go for a clear, easy punish. If you can't, you don't need to. And that's like the only two things. If you improve at those two things, you're going to get way better. And it's the same thing here. Step one, avoid their attacks. And then you just kind of like side lighted when he's like in the air. So you're not really avoiding. Like, see, like he avoided your attack and then punished you. Yeah. And then same thing here. It's like step one, avoid his attack. You're just getting too close. Where trying to hit them outright is just, it's above your skill capabilities. It's too difficult, essentially. Literally, it's just the two steps. I'm gonna like write it down. I'll DM you on Discord. Hang in the Discord. So it's just like st step one. Here. Step one, avoid opponent's attack. And then step two, punish. I'll do a question mark. If you can't punish, don't. And then step three, true combo or one dodge frame string. Or I'll just say tight string. I'm not even kidding. Like those three steps, you just avoid your opponent's attack. You just make the right decision if you can punish. And then you tr true combo them or tight string. If it's too much of a string, like let's say it's like four or five dodge frames. And you can tell how like the dodge frames in like training room and whatnot, or just anything that isn't a true combo. In all honesty, I just wouldn't go for if I was you. It's like make okay. things as simple as easy for you as possible. Well, yeah. Um, sorry, what were you saying? No, never mind. After the game. Okay. Um. Also, yeah, this axe side light. Um, side light nair is a true combo. So then, what I would learn is every true combo true on your combo. legend or weapon. So learn every true combo on the weapon. I'll put like weapons you play, put in bracket. Um, uh, and tight strings as well, but it's really, you just need the true combos. I coached someone once who was diamond who didn't know a true combo. It just shows like the other stuff can make up for it too. But you see what I mean here? It's like, okay, step one, avoid the attack. Then step two, punish. So here, if you're focusing on avoiding the attack, you would have seen the side sig and then you would have been able to hit it. You know what I mean? Are you That's following? not true, or? is it? Yeah, That's yeah, not true. If you have any questions, feel free. Cut me off, whatever. Okay. Does this all like make sense to you so far? Yeah, it's making sense so far. Cool. It's just like a simple game plan, like like how to win. And then I would miss that. Yeah, that's all fine. So it's yeah, it's all the same thing here. It's like step one, avoid their attack. Okay, he's ground pounding. You should dodge out of the way, and then. It's just getting good at those three steps, and that's all. So same thing here. He did the same thing to you. Think of like his perspective. He wants to avoid your attack. He avoided your attack, and then he punished you. And we're going to see that kind of over and over again. That was a bad downside from him. That was good. This down there is just a bit risky. Where there's like, there's no reason a down there. Like step one, avoid his attack. So he would have recovered either way. And then you hit him. And I'm off stage. Yeah, it just puts you in a pretty bad position. So this is baiting. It wasn't super intentional. Like you were trying to hit him with these nares. But either way, you avoided his attack, and then you get a punish out of it. And that's a one dodge room stream, so that was good. Good. And then, yeah, just avoiding his attack. He just got a little too close. This is all good. 
but then you did like a cross up. So you like went towards them here. You have a lot of space on the left to work with. And I got combat. Yeah. And avoid the attack. You tried to punish. That was good. Like, take a look at this. You avoided the side sig, and then that gives you an opening to hit the downer. That was good. Now, Dare Sarah wasn't a true combo, so I went and went for it. Wasn't even that tight of a string, and then that was just a miss. Or not good myself. Yeah, it was just a bad punish. You also kind of like freaked out when you did miss. You held all the way to the left, and then you tried to dodge. It was just intense. Pretty bad. You're also level 9 on Ulgrim, so it's more of an experience thing. I really recommend to try and f figure out a legend that you absolutely love playing and just stick to one legend. At least when you're first getting into Diamond. Or even let alone Plat. It just allows you to focus because every weapon has slightly different true combos, different positioning. There's a lot different things you have to learn. So... It's better to focus on one, because then it's going to make it as easy as possible for you to improve. So I can, like, write that in the notes as well. I don't yeah. want to overwhelm you, though. Oh, it's fine. So it's like, stick to one legend you love playing, but uh, don't listen to others. Just pick a legend you love. Because it really doesn't matter, like, who you main. Uh, what... Everyone is playable. Yeah, all the way until pro level. Even after that, the, the meta changes. Some characters become good out of nowhere. And here I would have dodged. Did you have your dodge? Oh, you spot dodged. Unfortunate. Spot well, dodge is really bad. It can okay. be. It has its uses. Everything in the game has its uses. Except really backdash. <laughs> Backdashing is bad? It's not great. It doesn't really matter. You're like not at the skill level for it to matter. But yeah, same thing here. It's like if you let your opponent miss and then attack them, you just tried to attack them too early. Bit unfortunate. I can't believe this. I'm not it. patient. Yeah, you just gotta let them miss. It's not even like being patient. It's just like a, a timing thing. But yeah, like this down there, for instance. There's like the delay end light was a tight string, so it's fine. But then this down there is just like an overextension is what I like to call it, where you're trying to force combos when they're not combos. And then this down there as well, there's just no reason to it. He hasn't done anything. It's like you got to make him vulnerable. It just makes it easier when they're vulnerable. It's like when you do a move, you know how you're like locked in place. You can't do anything else other than the move or until the move's yeah. done. So why not hit them when they're locked in place? Oh yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah. It just makes things easier. It's the same thing where it's like, instead of... I guess the wake up side light's not an awful option because of his positioning. He just had eye frames because of the chase dodge. But I would have just waited a little bit more. Trying to avoid that attack, then you get a punish. It's really punishing is the biggest thing. And then here, you could have still won! I guess, yeah, if I hit like a... Like a read and killed him. Yeah, and then they're on one stock, and it all takes is like one ground pound, and they're dead. Never give up. Any game is winnable, man. So, should I like go into training, or should I go into a game? Uh, I'll show you a couple things. Let's just talk about this. So, we got the three-step plan. Then the learn every true yeah. combo on your weapon, stick to one legend. Do you ever practice movement options? Have you ever seen like a movement guide? A movement? Nah, I don't do that. I haven't seen those. Okay, this isn't something that you can really think about on the spot right now, but I'm going to share a screen and just show you some stuff. You know how in the first step, you have to avoid your opponent's attack? Yeah. So learning movement options will help with that subconsciously. How I like to think of it is like, I, I like relating it to sports. Like, what sports, what's your favorite sport? Um, It won't even work, but it's baseball or That's, basketball. It works for both of them. In baseball, if you're, let's say, you land a hit, is it easier to walk to a base or to run? Like, what's quicker? To run. Yeah. So, in Brahala, if you're trying to avoid your opponent, what's easier, walking to avoid them or to run? Running. Yeah. So, in Brahala, the movement options will allow you to move quicker. 
And so it's literally like learning how to run. It, if you don't know how to run, I can't just say, hey, you should run. But what you can do is between stocks and just at a habit for fun, you can do these little like training things and you'll just get in the habit of inputting how to do it. So you see my screen, right? Oh no, you're not showing your screen. I'm not? Okay. I'm gonna send a movement guide after so you can see more, but I'll show you a couple things I just want you to practice between stocks. Uh, you see my screen now? Yeah, I see it. So just a dash jump like this is gonna do you wonders. All right. So it's just a dash jump and you go back and forth. And if you go back and forth like this between stocks, let's scoot it up there. You can do it quicker, quicker, and you can get, it's gonna take a while for you to like do it really quick, but you see like how crazy this all looks, right? Yeah, I ain't hitting you if you're doing that. Yeah, exactly. It's like running when you're walking right now. Where before you're like this, and it's not bad, but this is better. So yeah. between stocks, I want you to practice. This is just a dash jump fast fall. So you dash jump and then you hold down. And that's all it is, back and forth. And you're gonna be able to do this quicker and quicker. And okay. you, it's not something that you need to practice right now, but just between stocks, you can do dash dances. You can do, there's a lot of dances you can do. There's also things like dash cancels. There's a lot of different movement stuff. So apart from the, the three step plan I told you on how to win, just between stocks, this is just something I want you doing. If you, and I promise, if you focus on the three step plan, you practice the movement stuff between stocks and you just kind of watch a couple of those weapon guides on the combos, you're gonna hit diamond in like a month. <laughs> I, I like, maybe it's a couple months, but this is like all you need. And then things get easy from there. If you just like play consistently and think of it, Rahal is very strategic. So everything can be explained. And if you can win, you can explain it as well. Here, I'll, I'll send a movement guide I made. There's one on neutral. Well, Let's see. Yes. So in your free time, I made this one two months ago, but it can already be outdated. So I'll send this one. It, it still works, but it, the, there's mo new movement tech that's been added to the game since. So I'll send one more. Okay. I'll watch that after. Bet. And then let me send... Here's like a movement tips video. It's like five old dances and whatnot. I'm just gonna put practice movement between stocks. I'm gonna say don't focus on a mid game. Okay, so just practice and then when I get at a user? Yeah, exactly. Cause it's something that you're gonna be able to do subconsciously. You're just gonna add it to your game if you just develop the habit of inputting it. So okay. it's not something you need to really focus on. So the three step plan, avoid opponent's attack. Punish, if you can't punish, don't. And then true combo or tight string. Learn the true combos on the weapons. Stick to one legend. Don't listen to others. And then just practice these movement options between stocks. This is going to do you wonders. Thank you. Do you have, like, any questions at all? Um, no. Oh, actually, one question, but it's specific. <laughs> out of, like, down, out of down air, what are some good options? Like, if, you know how I was using too many dares? Yeah, um, there's a After couple. You, uh, you see my screen still, right? Yeah. So if you hit the dare stack, dare down light is a true combo. It only really works in like early health, and it has to be like grounded and like close to stack. See, so it's like on top of them. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit more situational. I wouldn't fish for it. If you hit there normally, end light is your go-to. This is one dodge frame and very consistent. Okay. If, if you hit the midair, dare Sarah works, and it can be true consistently. And either yeah, way, that's you're... I go for sometimes. yeah, the Sarah isn't that punishable, so you can go for it. But I don't fully recommend it every time. Like, if you don't have a follow up, it's better to like dare and then you hold the stage control and then do something. Oh yeah. But yeah, the, the kill options are like side air. Yeah, and just recovery. Side lights air and then side light recovery. Do you know how to use a uh, training room? Yeah. To like reset them when they like like this? Yeah. 
Cool. So yeah, it's just these two. Side light stair is an easier input, so I'd recommend it. But side light recovery is probably better, but it like it's only better because of how quick it is. It's harder to punish than side light stair. It's it's not a big deal at your skill level. I would just side light stair. Side light stair, okay. Yeah. And then other than that, it's just like like the three sub plan. Like avoid your opponent, like literally like don't get hit by them. They're gonna do something dumb, and then you hit them. I'll even show you an action. Like, take a look at this. I do a warm up sometimes against uh, bots. You can do this as well if you want, but I don't think you need it. Wait, you're you're doing them against like the really good bots, the chosen ones. Yeah, I, I can do it. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same idea. Where like, take a look at this. No, it just doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna try and play perfect game, but. You're going to see the bot's going to miss, and then I'm going to attack them when they miss. And attacking them upright is too difficult, because they can react to, like, anything. And they got, like, they can hit anything, right? Yeah. So, like this, I'm waiting, and he does something dumb. Does something dumb, does something dumb, does something dumb, does something dumb. It's just being patient and letting... See, it's just the one thing that I told you, it's just let your opponent miss. And then the movement, I'm using it, but more naturally, to do those three steps. I didn't even get hit once. Oh, you, you hit him with that. So then we wait. Oh, he did something dumb. Oh, he did something dumb. I missed a true combo, whatever. He did something dumb. Let's see. Oh, he did something dumb. You see, they're just missing. Yeah. And so you just avoid their attack, so I'm avoiding it. And then you hit them when they're vulnerable. And this Isn't is hammer pretty bad. It can be good. At your skill level, it really like it doesn't matter. Anything until like pro level, and even pros don't know right now, uh, in my opinion. Because Sandstorm won a tournament with um, what's his name? Mega. That was a while ago. I know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was that guy chosen? Wow, their ass. <laughs> yeah, so you see what I mean, though. It's just that three-step plan. Just let your opponent miss. Actually, I want you to play a ranked game. And it might be hard for the first little bit, but if you try it and think about it for the next like month straight and just play pretty consistently, it's going to get a lot easier. That's I don't know. Sometimes I just... Though, because like I get tilted. Your mic cut out. Say that again? <clears throat> oh, sometimes I'm just playing too much, I think. Because then I get mad. Yeah, don't play too much. It's just like a little bit, five, four days a week. You don't need to overdo it. Um, it's more about the consistency than the quantity. Even if you're playing 30 minutes a day, oh, that is totally fine. I play... Anyway. 3-7-4. Your mic cut out before... 3-7-4, mm, 8-4-4. Four. Four. Yep. Four, four. What'd you say? You said I play and then I cut. Oh, I'm playing like three hours a day. Damn. So. Okay. Yeah, maybe if, that's um, why you have 183 wins. Yeah. So yeah, think about first avoid their attack, and then try and punish it, and that is like all you need. If you get really good at that one thing while doing the movement stuff I told you about, and you just pick one legend you like, like your elo is gonna skyrocket. I promise. Let's see this game. You got this, bro. Three, two, one, brawl. Let's see if he does it. So it's like let your opponent miss. That was good. That was a bad combo. Nice. That was a bad combo. Nice. That was a bad side sig. You see how much the opponent's missing? It's like crazy. Bad recovery. It's a lot of dodgings there. Nice. Bad combo. 
bad combo. A lot of mistakes in the combo. That wasn't hit true. Nice. I can see a neutral is helping. He just has a bad habit with the combos. I'm gonna tell him a warm up routine. That was a really bad dodge in. At least he got the stock for it. Bad down air. Nice. Just didn't let his opponent miss too much there. Nice there. Good try. Let his opponent miss. Nice. Nice. He had a dodge, so I wouldn't have kept going. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna send him. I did a uh, sight four level of sight video. That should actually help him a lot. Because he hits like a lot of neutral wins and then goes for something that isn't a true combo. And the same applies on lights. Nice down light. Easy. Easy. He wasn't. Oh, it was his placements. Oh, uh, okay. Well, still, it's an easy win. Um, uh,. One thing you were doing was you were going for a lot of stuff that like wasn't a true combo on Lance. I can show you what I mean. Oh, okay. But like, how did you feel in neutral? Like the, the game plan? Um, like in neutral, like on the ground? Uh, more like when you guys were hitting each other, like, do you think the three steps helped? I mean, yeah, I was playing, I don't know. I was just thinking about playing more passive, I think. Yeah. Passive's one word to describe it. It's more strategy than passive, because there are ways to play aggressive with it. It's like that walking analogy. Before you're standing still, this is teaching you how to walk, but you have to learn to walk before you can run. If running is playing aggressive, we gotta teach you how to play passive first. Oh, and then, I don't think I was playing good on safe. I can't uh, miss on safe. I think the last talk was fairly good. I thought on Lance you were missing stuff too. I can show you what I mean. Like, take a look at this. So, side light, oh, down light isn't a true combo. I think you meant for a side light there. But then that means you got practice. End light there is also just not a combo. And you see how he dodged out of it? Yeah, that's probably like 10 dodge frames. Yeah, so it's like, what's the point in going for it? If they're going to dodge out of it every time, then, like, why go for it? I'd go so for I it. Just... Sorry, what were you saying? I could have just dashed towards them and not attacked. I would have just done nothing. See what they do. Avoid their next attack. It's like resetting neutral. So like think about the three steps. And then so in the DMs we got step one, avoid opponent's attack. Step two, punish question mark. Step three, true combo or tight string. And then it goes right back up to step one, avoid their next attack. It just re it resets. Wait, that's on Artemis speed. Say that again? <laughs> Is speed the best stance on Artemis? Uh, I, I think 5 defense is probably the best. But I don't think the stance matters as much as you think. Whatever um, you like the most. But I like 7 speed usually. I'm going to send this graphic. Take a look uh, in DMs. When step 3 is done, you just go back to step 1. So you hit a true combo and then you reset? Yeah. So like, here, you hit the neutral light. Now you don't have a true combo out of this. The closest thing is end light, D light, but that's, I wouldn't have went for it. You just wait for the next thing. And you see how the Jala spot dodged? If you didn't yeah, down air here, let's say you stood still, then you can punish the dodge because they're locked in frames. And then you win neutral again. And so you'll see that a lot. So end light. See, I, the, the dollar just dodged it again. And light side light just isn't a true combo. So if it's not a true combo or a tight string, you just don't go for He was it. clapping, wait, he was clapping me though with a um, melee. Melee? Oh, unarmed. Yeah, you're yeah. doing some dot. See how you dodged in here twice? Take a look at this. You just, you went for a dare here, then you dodged in, and then you just got one dodge in read. And then you jumped into him twice. It was just, he saw you going in. But you were winning neutral. You avoid the yeah, attack. I think I was up Same thing here. 
Dare side light is just not a true combo. I, I could have went for a dare side air. I dare sir. You could have. I still just wouldn't have done anything. Maybe end light because of the positioning. You can see where he was ending up. Other than end light, I wouldn't have went for anything. And then here, you have to hit side light neutral air. I want you, before playing ranked, something that's going to help. This is also just not a true combo at this health. This is just not true. Um, I, I want you to practice the uh, your, your true combos, like a warm-up routine. I'll, I'll show you exactly what I want you to do. Okay. Just help you get the habits on inputting them and when. Oh, I haven't played safe in a while, so... Yeah, it's no worries. That was a good downside. You're really winning neutral this game. Things were getting a lot better. It was just the step three we had problems with. And then here you just did a wake up recovery. He called it out with one dare. Got a ground pound and into the stock. And he killed himself. Yeah, you were winning neutral though. That's why you won the game. Like he watch this last stock. Recovered, though. He would have if he used his um, chase dodge. So this was a problem in step two. You couldn't punish this, but you thought you could. Good sir. This is what I like. Look at this. Sarah, you can't follow up with a true combo, so you don't. He goes for a down sig, then you punish him, but you just miss the punish. But you see the idea, right? It's still one you neutral with an end light. That was great. Nice down air. This would have been insane if you hit a side light. Because he dodged in. But it's, it's a good idea. I like it. I, that side light was bad, but the second one was fine. Good punish. Same thing here. It wasn't really true. He had a dodge. That was good. Sometimes those strings can work. It's just, since they've got dodges, they can get out of them. That was crazy. Good punish. You're just punishing very nicely on site. But the step three could use some work. I'm going to send you a video that I just posted today that will really help you at site. And then let me show you a warm-up routine that will help. Okay. So I did a video where it's like four levels of scythe players and you can see the difference. Play. Yeah, it, sh it shows the difference between gold, plat, diamond and whatnot. And the lesson from this video is exactly what you need to like really, that'll, that'll be like really huge. So you can watch that. And then I'm gonna show you a warm up routine just with Lance. Scythe doesn't really have the true combos. So that's why that video is a bit more important. Yeah, uh, scythe is just reads. Yeah, exactly. Reads, would, reactions, I, guesses. I was watching Sandstorm's video, but it was too confusing. Yeah, he's crazy. That that video should show you the difference at lower elos, which is better. Or level to say. So here's the warm-up routine that I want you to do that's going to really help you out. So set the bot in the center of the map. Um... Make them reset, like we talked about. Set them to zero for now. And then grab I was the, the gold player in the four levels of say. Were you actually? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's perfect then. Definitely check that out. No, that's hilarious. Wait, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Okay. You see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's turn damage on, stun on, hitboxes on, hitboxes off, items spawning off. So I want you in white, I want you to hit side light downer 10 times in a row true. And make sure you can do this 10 times in a row. If it's not true, see it shows dodge window. That's how you know yeah, it's yeah. not true. So make sure you do this 10 times in a row. And then when you do side light there 10 times in a row true, I want you to move on to side light there and light. Try and get this one dodge frame 10 times in a row. But yeah, on warm up. So do side light there 10 times in a row. Do side light there and light 10 times in a row. And this is just before you play ranked. Then when they're a bit later in health, I want you to set them to like 70 damage. I want you to side light Nair 10 times in a row. And make sure you can hit a true 10 times in a row. Side light Nair is easier to hit. Yeah. I think. It's more consistent. You just weren't really using it when you should. So I want you to do this warm up whenever you play ranked because you'll get the habit of doing it. And so when it happens in game, you won't need to think about it as much. If you do this warm up for two weeks straight, you'll be good. Thank you. So do that 10 times in a row and then set the bot to like 150 
Two side lights there, 10 times in a row. Make sure one dodge frame, and then do side light recovery 10 times in a row. And try and get one dodge frame. It's a bit harder, though. And if you can get through all of those 10 times in a row without messing up, then go into ranked. That's going to do you wonders. I can write this down. Okay. So warm up is side light there 10 times in a row. Then side light there and light 10 times in a row. Then side light there 10 times in a row. I'm just typing this for you. Then we got side light there. I'll put the damage numbers as well. 80 damage. Then there's one. And then side light In recovery. the tournament yesterday, didn't you come like top 60? Yeah, I got 17th. 17th? Yeah. Oh, damn. So Sounds you almost got top 16. Yeah. I lost the cutie, and then winner side, I lost to Faison. Three out the whole last tournament. Say again? I'm pretty. Didn't Godly like 3 0? That was game? Valencia. Maybe in Europe. Oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah in EU, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't 3 0 so in did... Valencia, but there were a bunch of like 3 1s. So, yeah, if you do that warm up routine, you focus on the three steps, you practice your movement between stocks. Uh, pick one legend to focus on, a legend that you love, and then maybe like watch a, like the four levels of scythe and just like learn more about the weapons. Just stay curious, have fun with it. That is gonna help you improve as much as possible and as quickly as possible. Do you have like any questions or anything? Um, not really. No. Do you but, wanna? I, yeah. What were you saying? Sorry. No, one question I do have though mm -hmm. is like, is there any times that you should really be going for six? Like I know uh, you should be using your six, but yeah. So we talked about the three steps. Uh, you can use the sigs in that second step, punish. Um, instead of trying to punish with a combo or something like that when they're in red, you can just punish with a signature. And it's just a quicker way of killing. So like. My opponent makes a mistake, I'm on the ground, I'm horizontal to them, I'm gonna side sig. And yeah. yeah, the sigs all have their own purposes. End sig is if they jump. So like what if I don't know, I'm trying to kill a bit earlier and I think they're gonna jump out of side light, I can like side light end sig. If they're not dodging. Uh I could like down light down sig if they dodge in. You can go for sig follow-ups if it's in like really red. But more just using it as a punish, I think is best. So, yeah. But you don't really need SIGs to go pro even. The SIGs kind of come with time. Yeah, you, I, I could beat anyone my own ELO without SIGs. What's your ELO? Like, like 2300 or 22? Mid-24 right now. 24? But I don't like double. play that seriously. Like, I, I was playing Master Chief in ranked. Is Master Chief bad? He's uh, Isaiah. Like, I'm at my peak. Think. Yeah, yeah. I've been playing a lot of Chief and Ranked. Just for fun. I can play a game if you want without SIGs, like, to show you. Or if you want, like, we can... If you want a 1v1 or something, I can kind of... 1v1? If you want to. Can we do a Master server, though? Sure, I'll play West. I don't think it would matter. You could probably beat me on, like, any server. Here, I, I said to West if you want to join my room. We'll do a quick 1v1. Okay. Or three. Okay. Uh, no sigs. I'll just play all good. <laughs> this ain't gonna go well. <laughs> but you'll see why you lose. Like every time you get hit, there's a mistake. They're all stop sharing. DHRM champion. Oh, yeah, I won a tournament in 2018. Damn. Dreamhack Austin. Dreamhack? Yep. I won the first Dreamhack.
You're crazy. Dodge it now. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. My bad. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? I was hit. Oh, well, I'm lagging. My keyboard won't work because I hit it one second. I got replay. Okay. Don't, don't hit your keyboard, man. That's. Okay. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can land this. You're actually clapping me. Were you trolling in ranked? No. Okay. You didn't grab the cancel it. once. I pay for this. I'm not going to troll. Okay. There's doing a lot of movement that I did not see in ranked. Because yeah, I'm not very good. No, you're pretty good. Okay. GG's. <laughs> You're crazy on oh. more decks. You should play more. You got more... six minutes. You want to keep playing? Run it back. Let me go Artemis. Okay, okay. Hun level 100? I have two level 100s. Almost three. How many hours do you have? Like 8,000? Like 6,000? There's 8,000 hours in a year. Something like that. Yeah, I've been playing this game for like seven, eight years. <laughs> I thought it, was, it came out in like 2018. No, it came out in 2017 publicly, officially, but there was an open beta starting end of 2015. Wait, let's see if I can hit this. Okay. Nice punish. How'd that hit? Loki getting cooked? Yeah, because I don't think you're 1400, bro. I'm 1600 peak. You're crazy. I, went, I had 800 games last season, so. How old are you? I'm 15. Nice. Now keep it up. It's good. That combo can work to catch jumps. It's just really only good in red. Oh, I'm trash. Oh no. Oh. I thought I was on my last off. Uh... I'll try and get you to one star. You can do it. I don't think so.
Did you see? Did you? Yeah, okay. You made me adapt mm -hmm. on the first two stocks of both games. No, dude, you're crazy. Just keep it going. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, GG's, man. You have a lot better movement than, like, in those games than the ranked games. Yeah, I get nervous in the ranked. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I guess if you play a lot, you'll get better with the nerves. But also, like, ranked just doesn't matter. It's yeah. Well, your peak elo is the only thing that matters, so you kind of have to play to get it. Yeah. I don't know. Nah, GG's, you can easily hit diamond. GG. The, Ar the Artemis is crazy. The Artemis? Yeah. Because, like, Lance on the side is a lot easier than Gauntlets. But play whatever character you want. Just I'd definitely stick to one. Your scythe is really good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Okay, bye. Bye, GG's. You, you got a place where I can leave reviews on your website though? Uh, I don't do reviews, but if you want to like do like Twitter or something, if like whatever you want to do, uh, and it could be negative too if you didn't like the session, well, just it's be not honest. gonna be negative. Cool, I appreciate that. Okay, but Bye. yeah, but have a good day. Keep me updated by the way. Message me in the Discord general whenever if like you got questions or if any of the things I told you isn't working, just keep me updated. Okay. Bye. Right. Have a good day. Now, legit, he was cooking the last two games. Took a stock. GG's, bro. I hope you enjoyed the session. Um, uh, he's definitely a lot better than 1400. But uh, if you enjoyed this, if it helped, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys later.